this is it João Meda is João Meda is losing his energy I cannot follow this pace now Egan Bernal just attacked come on João hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video here on the pro cyclist mode with João Meda on PCM 20 and today we have the last week of the Giro d'Italia so yeah it's going to be an amazing episode let's finally see if João Meda can hang on with the best and finally if we can win a grand tour with João Meda remember that uh, last season it was on this third week where João Meda just dropped a little bit his performance and lost his pink jersey but uh, this time let's hope it's different and let's hope that we can uh, that we can secure the first place so since you are getting a lot of podiums on the Giro, the interest of the teams have grown a lot as you can see here on the screen. We have a lot of teams with the bar yellow right now as you can see Team Ineos, UAE, EF Pro Cycling, Baray McLaren and of course Egitoir and Coffee is the teams with more interest in Joao Meda right now apart from of course the CUNY Quick Step. But yeah, it's, it's, it's looking uh, much better this interest from the other teams of course. We have the likes of Ineos and UAE, but yeah, like I said, I, I think I'm going with these two. I'm going to stick with these two to see if I can go to one of these teams. And yeah, let's go and see the profile for the last uh, uh, week of the Giro d'Italia. So we start stage 15, the last day before the last rest day. It is a hilly stage, but it's basically a mountain stage with a lot of climbing as we can see here. We have a, a first category climb, second category climbs, and yeah, it's going to be a very tough uh, stage to do, really. And then after the last rest day, we have another hilly stage. This one seems more easy, just with a little bit of climbing on the end of the stage, not big of a deal, really. And then, of course, we start with the mountain stage, stage 17, a big one, as you can see. It finishes uh, downhill, but uh, we have a lot of mountain throughout the whole stage stage 16 it is a flat stage for the sprinters and a stage where we can rest with Joao Maida to then go for stage 19 and again a big mountain stage where it ends up here as you can see Alpedi Pampeago I think it is this name uh, on the last climb of the day and yeah it's going to be very difficult of course some big and very long climbs uh, João Maid is going to have a tough time here but yeah and then of course stage 20 it's maybe the queen stage because we have the Paso de los Telvio the last climb of this uh, stage the biggest climb and maybe the hardest climb on cycling Paso de los Telvio and, and uh, we have Paso del Mortirolo before that so yeah it's going to be another tough stage here and then of course we end with a time trial in Milano a 30 km time trial where we hope João Maida can do a good performance and uh, win Giro d'Italia but before we go to the stages let me just tell you to leave a like and a subscribe of course and uh, uh, enable the notification bell so you don't miss any episode of this pro cyclist mode with João Maida and yeah share with your friends as well so that more people can see this amazing series at least i'm liking a lot i'm enjoying a lot doing this series i hope you like as well and yep yeah, let's go into the stages and so guys here we are we are reaching the summit of the first climb and uh, as you can see all of my team is out of energy only Venapov is here with me all of the other riders are out of energy this pace on the peloton is really high as you can see and uh, yeah, João Maida is hanging on very good of course with a plus 5 day but even Venapol now is struggling a little bit my god come on Venapol don't lose the contact please because I need you here and uh, yeah we are reaching the summit right now and only 40 guys here and I'm losing the contact a little bit oh my god this is rentless this place really but this is it now thankfully this first climb is over and then yeah, I'm going to use Ivanapol protecting João Maida and let's just stay here with the peloton and so guys Ivanapol is out of energy already on this next climb that uh, it's finished right now 
and Venapo got out of energy my god I'm all alone right now and we still have three climbs to do this is going to be very tough really I hope that the peloton stop a little bit but if they don't stop it's going to be very tough and so guys here we are we just passed the penultimate climb and as you can see only 17 riders are here on the peloton so yeah the pace has not been uh, slowed down uh, by any means really and the uh, Joao Maida looking good of course right now but we are alone only I believe it is uh, Egan Bernal has the help of Carapaz and then all of the other leaders are alone so yeah it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen I'm just going to grab some waters and then uh, go for this final climb and see if we can get a good result and so this is it guys last 7 kilometers of the stage it will be in a climb and we are already in it Dylan Toons is in the front alone over uh, 2 minutes ahead of us so yeah maybe he's going for the win who knows but yeah let's now concentrate here on this peloton and see what moves are going to happen to react of course last 5 kilometers of the stage the rhythm has slowed down a little bit Yulu Chikon is here in the front of us and then it just Dylan Toons 1 minute ahead and yeah now Simon Yates it seems to up the tempo a little bit Let's see, any attacks will happen at any moment. And there you go, Ties Benut is attacking. I'm following or I tried to follow the attack but it didn't pay off. So yeah, let's attack myself and let's go at my rhythm to see if I can do something because why not? We have the energy, let's try to win time. Because we need to win time of course. And right now we have 30 seconds of a lead and we are catching Dylan Toons up front. Ties Benut is here as well. Come on, João. Last kilometer now. João Maida is behind the Baran McLaren guys, and I cannot catch them really. Let's try to sprint, but it is too late now. And Pierre Benut just got the win, but that doesn't matter. What matters is our second place. So, yeah, let's see how many times did I win. And again, another good stage for João Maida where we prevailed and we got a very good result. And so guys, in the end, we didn't uh, gain that much time from uh, Miguel Angel Lopez and Edgar Bernal, just about 9-10 seconds of uh, advantage, but of course, it's precious time for us, it's very good that we won that time. And yeah, right now we have 2 minutes and 10 seconds of advantage from Miguel Angel Lopez. And so now stage 16, it is a hilly stage, but uh, I don't think that's gonna be much of a problem for our classification. So yeah, maybe I'm just going to show you the results and what happened on the final kilometer. I don't know, but yeah, let's see. And so guys, in the end, Mark Hirsch is the winner of this stage. And uh, basically on every hilly stage, Mark Hirsch has been the winner. He's, he's been very good on these stages. And yeah, I'm going to put you on the screen what happened. And yeah, I was very late to respond to the attack of Mark Hirsch and Davide Formolo on the last kilometers. And yeah, then I, I, I had to, to work to try to catch them. And I didn't catch them. I, I could not catch them. And in the end, when I sprinted, I got out of energy too soon. And then Mark Hirsch, she just went for a victory. Daniel Martinez even overpassed me. And yeah, we finished on a fourth position, which is not that bad really. But the great news is that we won 32 seconds to Egan Bernal and Miguel Angel Lopez. So yeah, as you can see right here, only the nine first guys finished with the same time. And uh, in the general classification, these guys are not very well placed. Some of them, only Martinez at fourth place. And so now we have 2 minutes 42 seconds of advantage from Miguel Angel Lopez. So it's very good that we just gained 30 seconds. What a precious time that we gained because now we have a very big mountain stage ahead of us. Stage 17 and let's go into it. And so guys this is the stage and we have a plus 3 day right now. So it's not a plus 5 that we had but that, that was expectable of course. We cannot have that many plus five days but yeah let's work to to make this the best performance possible and yeah come on Joel and so guys here we are we are reaching the summit of the first climb of the day this very long second category climb and yeah as you can see by my team the energy is not the best of course but it's not that bad let's hope that we can recover now on the downhill and yeah we have a plus three day 
and we have Mark Kirschi on the breakaway. That's the most impressive thing. Mark Kirschi, that is the ninth place, nine minutes forty six seconds. The away from João Maida is in the breakaway, so it's a bit of a danger. But as you can see right now, the breakaway has uh, more than six minutes at least. So yeah, we need to be careful about that, of course. But right now, everything looks good, I believe. And so guys, this is starting to look a bit dangerous for us. We are 5 km away from the summit of this first first category climb. And uh, yep, this is the first of 3 climbs. And uh, as you can see, I only have Evanapov and Evanapov has just got out of energy. So there he goes. João Maida is all alone right now, damn it. This is not looking good for us. Egan Bernal still has 3 guys with him. Uh, Miguel Angel Lopez is alone, Martinez is alone. Oh my god, let's see what's going to happen and my energy is looking very down right now, the yellow energy. So let's hope that I can maintain this rhythm and the, on the downhills I can recover the energy. And again Bernal is attacking, Bernal and Lopez are attacking, I didn't expect that, my god. They attacked and yeah, thankfully they just stopped but my god, what they scared they just uh, did to me really. I didn't expect and they are going to attack for sure more times. My god, this is not looking good for João Maida today. Look at this image, very cool to see the motorbike camera following the group that is catching the breakaway. And yep, yeah, João Maida on that pink jersey and oh my god. Miguel Angel Lopez is attacking, I need to follow Miguel Angel Lopez attack. Come on João. Thankfully it stopped already But my god once again, I it's it just scares me because I know that trauma does not have the best energy right now And you still are halfway through this climb. So yeah It's looking very difficult for drama right now And now it is Egan Bernal attacking Egan Bernal is attacking Come on João You need to catch them and now it is, oh my god, Miguel Angel Lopez now attacks. I need to counter attack that, really. Come on, João. And once again, Miguel Angel Lopez, damn it. I cannot follow this pace, really. I cannot hang this. And they are getting away right now. This is it, João Meda is, João Meda is losing his energy. I cannot follow this pace. Now Egan Bernal just attacked. Come on, João. We still have more than two kilometers to the summit. Please stop, guys. Please, I beg you. You are out of energy as well, so please stop. But my God. And so, guys, this is it. The last climb of this stage, and I need to give everything that I got, of course. Like, look at Bernal. Bernal is much better than me with all of his energy. He has a plus today. My plus 3 does not match his skills really. And right now, come on, João. I'm going to use energy gel if I need to, of course. I just want to stay with this group because then on it is downhill until the finish line, basically. And then I think I can hang on. But now they are attacking already. João Almeida needs to attack as well. Come on, João. I cannot follow this pace too much time and Miguel Angel Lopez is counter attacking. I cannot follow really. I'm just here with Bernal and I will let Miguel Angel Lopez go for now because I cannot do nothing really. Let's use the energy gel and let's hope that we can catch them. And that's it. I'm out of energy. João Maida is getting out of energy right now. Although we are still with the guys but... This is it, I'm getting out of energy, damn it. I cannot hang on no more. And we still have 5 counters to the summit. This is no good at all, come on João. And so we are approaching the summit of this last climb. And in the front, it is Miguel Angel Lopez, Egan Bernal, Jack Kagan, Daniel Martinez. I have 1 minute and 30 seconds of disadvantage from these guys. And let's hope that on the downhill I can regain some time really because... It's not looking good for us right now. Come on, John. Let's hope that at least on the downhill, I'm going at 99 full, really. Let's see if I can get some time off these guys. 
And so guys, the front of the race are less than a kilometer to the finish line. I'm now sprinting, I'm one kilometer away, I don't know who is going to be the winner. And it is Daniel Martinez and oh my god, let's see how many times will I lose. And it's more than a minute, but it's one minute and seven seconds, something like that, let's hope so yeah. In the end, it was not that bad, of course we, lo we lose time and that's a thing we need to be careful for the next uh, stages, but yeah, it was not that bad. And so guys, we lost 1 minute and 5 seconds to Daniel Martinez who was the winner of this stage. And so right now we just have 1 minute and 33 seconds of advantage from Miguel Ángel López, so yeah, not that much of a time difference which is not good for us, let's hope that we can have that plus 5 day on the mountain days, if not it's going to be very difficult to secure this jersey. And so now stage 18 it is a flat stage so of course I'm just going to show you the results because we have more mountains to, to do so yeah that is more important than this stage so yeah let's go into the results. And so guys, of course, the winner of this stage it is Pascal Ackerman from Jumbo Visma. And yeah, no one can match his skill and his sprint power really. So yeah, another win for him. João Meida on 11th position and Ele Viviani on the 5th. So yeah, not the best results for us, but that is fine. All that matters is the general classification. And so yeah, next stage, a big mountain stage, stage 19. Let's go. And so guys, here we are start of the stage and oh my god, this is perfect, I cannot ask for more than this really. All of my teammates with a plus day, the majority, and Joe Almeida with a plus 5 day, this is amazing really. So yeah, let's hope that I can use this plus 5. And Egad Bernal with a minus 1, oh my god. And Miguel Angel Lopez with a minus 1 as well. Oh my god, this is the stage for us, we need to not lose time at least, that's all I want really. And so uh, Bernal and Miguel Angel Lopez are with a minus day but Daniel Martinez has a plus 5 as well so yeah this one we need to be careful although he's 3 minutes behind but we need to be careful with him. And so guys you are halfway through the stage more or less and we are on this very big first category climb it is 23 kilometers of climbing and the, the pace now is starting to rise up a little bit but yeah right now we are looking good my team is looking good as well for the most part so yeah let's continue like this and so guys we are still 5 kilometers away from this summit the same climb and uh, I already lose half of my team or all of my team really now just Evanapo with me and Evanapo is getting a little bit behind so come on Evanapo to the front please and yep, uh, Ivanapov, I need you for a little bit more at least. And let's try to protect uh, João Maeda. And so guys, we are on this uh, second, uh, first category climb. We are just passing the summit, it is the same as the finish line. And we are not passing the summit, I'm sorry, but this is the same climb as the last one. So yeah, it is very, very demanding with uh, a lot of uh, percentage, very high and yeah. As uh, Peter Serri just entered our group and helped me a lot on this climb, so yeah, Venapo now is in charge of protecting me and he's getting out of energy, but I think he will manage to the next climb. And yeah, right now we are looking very good, really, no bigger attacks. I think it was Simon Yates and Zakarin that attacked, but they are not a big threat to us, so yeah, that is completely fine. And so this is it guys, we are on the penultimate climb and we are just less than 5 kilometers away from the summit and the pace is really high right now. It is Movistar team and Ineos team that are putting the pace. Venapo is getting out of energy but that is okay and now Daniel Martinez is attacking. I need to follow that of course because he's the main contender for today with that plus 5 day and yeah, let's see if I can follow his will because it's on a tremendous pace really come on João and Miguel Angel Lopez has just joined us but he's out of energy and Daniel Martinez is attacking once again I just missed his attack for a little bit come on João let's put the pace ourselves maybe to see if I can just go at his will my god come on João you are holding on very good 
and Martinez is going to attack once again for sure but let's just and there we go my god and I'm very slow to respond damn it come on and so guys here we are on the last 10 kilometers of the stage the win is for breakaway for sure I believe they are 7 kilometers away from the finish line and yep, I just need to be careful and concentrate with the attacks of Martinez and Lopez. They they are attacking for sure. Otherwise, we are looking good right now. And this is it. This is the start of the climb. And Daniel Martinez right away is attacking. Lopez is attacking as well. Let's just follow Martinez with the best way possible that we can. Really, come on, João. I just need to follow his will. And he, he doesn't stop attacking. Come on, Martinez. Thankfully, he just stopped. But yeah, Daniel Martinez is looking very good. And Daniel Martinez once again is attacking. I'm counter-attacking his attack. Come on, João. And it's just the two of us right now. But I'm getting out of energy right now. Come on, João. But Martinez is out of energy as well, thankfully. So let's just stay here. Come on, João. Don't lose his will. And so this is it, the last two kilometers. Right now I'm with Daniel Martinez and he's looking good right now. Bernal is behind and he's catching us a little bit. I think it is Tias Benut up front. And yep, this is very good for us right now. We just need to finish. And uh, almost on the last kilometer now. And this is the first one, Tias Benut. We can go for the stage victory. Come on, João. It's very difficult, but we can try it, of course. Let's see if that is possible. Let's put a pace. Joe Almeida is going for the victory. Let's sprint. Come on, Joe Almeida. Can we do it? And we are going to do it. No, my God. I just get out of energy. But will it be enough? I think Martinez is out of energy as well. And there it goes, Joe Almeida. The winner of stage 19 of the Giro d'Italia. And I believe... I believe we can win this Giro, come on Juan, what a, what a win this was really. And Daniel Martinez and Bernal just arrives now and yeah, what a stage, Juan Almeida, let's go. And so guys, after that amazing performance, we gained 41 seconds to Daniel Martinez and more than a minute to Egan Bernal and more than 2 minutes for Miguel Angel Lopez, so on the general classification, we are almost 4 minutes ahead of Miguel Angel Lopez and the, the same for Egan Bernal and uh, Daniel Martinez. These are the three contenders besides João Almeida that are fighting for this Giro. But now 4 minutes of um, disadvantage I think is looking difficult for them. We only have one big mountain stage that is the Stelvio and then we have the time trial which again it's another one where uh, we can lose time, but we have a good time trial stat, so yeah. He's looking very good to win this Giro for João Meda right now. And because of our performance on the Giro, we have just leveled up to level 28, so we can improve our attributes or our potential. And I don't know what am I going to do really. Let's just see. We have potential maximum of 80, 81 for mountain and 82 time trial. I don't know if um, I'm going to upgrade my potential. I don't think so. I think I'm going for my progression of attributes, which means we can get more stats for the last uh, mountain uh, day of the Giro. But once again, it seems that uh, they don't want to upgrade uh, the mountain stats. I don't know why. We have the... Yes, we have the, the potential to grow. Why can I not uh, level up one level on a mountain? Come on, guys. Well, it is what it is. I'm not going to mess around anything on the editor. I'm just going to leave it like this. And uh, we are going to upgrade the attributes. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool of course, now we have more stats on heals and stamina and all of that stuff. And we have a skill point to spend. And where am I going to spend? I don't even know really. And so I think I'm going to spend here on super leader. I don't know where what it does but uh, yeah, I just spend on it and uh, it's another perk that we can have on the race. And uh, yeah, let's go now 
into the last mountain stage of the Giro, the penultimum stage. This is where everything is going to be decided and they have the big Paso del Stelvio. Let's just hope we have another plus five and we can hang on with the best. And so guys, here we are, start of the study, and as you can see, we have a plus four day, so it's not a plus five, but it's very, very good nonetheless, of course. Egan Bear now with a minus one, let's see more, Miguel Angel Lopez plus one, and Daniel Martinez, where it is, let me just take a look, my god, what a mess. Daniel, where are you? Show yourself. And Daniel Martinez with a plus one as well, so yeah, it's not that great for them because I have a plus four so it is good and so already after the first climb I have no teammates just the Venapol with me and yep it's looking already very difficult for us because the pace is really high and yep I only have a Venapol and Peter Serri right now and so guys here we are Paso del Mortirolo and the pace Ineos is putting is very high and I'm just alone Evanopo got out of energy because he went for waters and yep I have no teammates left I got Ben now here with three teammates it's putting a great rhythm and yep myself this yellow energy is very low right now and I'm not liking it at all my god come on Joel hang in there please and so guys we are one kilometer away from the summit of Mortirolo and yep luckily the Ineos team got out of energy every single one of them and the the pace is really low so we are regaining some energy which is great and yep uh, so far nothing happened because the pace is low and then uh, let's just recover energy on downhill for the last climb of the day the mythic Paso de los Telvio and so here it is Egan Bernal is attacking and uh, I'm late to respond to that of course but I need to respond so let's just put a little attack to catch Berno, but he's attacking as well, damn it. My god, come on, John, just take it easy, please. Again, Berno is not better than you right now, so you can hang on, come on. And now it is Miguel Angel Lopez that is attacking, and of course, I'm responding to that, but I'm not looking good in terms of energy, damn it. And I just got behind right now. But Lopez got out of energy as well, thankfully. So let's just stay with him. And recover a little bit because I need to, of course. Come on, Joel. And so here we are on the last 5 kilometers of the stage. And uh, Simon Yates is in the front and it's all alone. But uh, it's not a major concern for us. Right now we are looking very good with Lopez. We don't have energy, but... Uh, Nobody's getting away from me really, so yeah, let's use the energy gel right now. Let's use the aerodynamic position and let's just go because I, I think we got this Giro d'Italia really. I'm not kidding. This is looking very good to us. And so Simon Knights is the winner of the stage. And the, I think Raumet is going to get second place. But he's very close, but yeah, I think he's got it. João Maida, the next winner of the Giro d'Italia. I believe so, at least let's hope that and yep, yeah, what a win really, Miguel Angel Lopez was the only one that could follow his will and uh, the other ones just got behind and yep, yeah, this is it, I believe this is it for us. And so we just gained 1 minute to Egan Bern now, 1 minute 49 or about that to Daniel Martinez and yep, yeah, in the end you yeah, have 4 minutes of advantage to Miguel Angel Lopez to the time throw and then 5 minutes to Egan Bernal and almost 6 to Daniel Martinez so yeah we are in a very good shape to win this I don't think we are going to lose 4 minutes on the time throw but we never know but yeah let's go into that and so guys this is it the last stage of this Giro d'Italia stage 21 30 kilometers time throw in Milano and yeah Joao Maida is looking very good to win this Giro d'Italia right now and yeah we are one of the favorites at least we are on the top 10 of the favorites of course Evenepoel is the big favorite but yeah I think we got this let's go into the time throw and let's hope that we can win it 
This is it ladies and gentlemen, here we go, João Almeida is about to start the last stage of Giro d'Italia this time trial, here he goes, and yep, we have a plus 3 days, so yeah, it's a very good day for us, let's just hope that we can uh, uh, take advantage of this plus 3. Okay, so we are approaching the first checkpoint of this time trial, let's see what time João Almeida is doing right now, and we are 40 seconds behind, so we are not the best, and as you can see, I'm saving a bit of energy, so let's try to spend that for the next checkpoint, and yeah, not looking good right now. And here we are now, second checkpoint of the time trial, João Maida, now looking better in terms of his energy, and it's still 55 seconds of this advantage right now, so yeah, almost a minute, as we are on the last 10 kilometers, and they are not looking good right now, Remco Evenepo is going to win for sure, but I want to get a better result. And so guys, we are catching Miguel Angel Lopez that is right ahead of us, so yeah, not looking good for Miguel Angel Lopez as we are entering the last kilometer of this time trial, let's go 99 with João Almeida, for the next, for the last few meters, João Almeida, and he finished on a 5th position, but what's matter is, João Almeida is the new winner of the Giro d'Italia this season, here we go. This is Remco Evenepoel, the winner of the stage, of course, very good time throw for him, taking a minute off everybody else, but of course, João Maida, the new winner, here he goes, the pink jersey on it, very good to see, almost 6 minutes of advantage to Miguel Angel Lopez and exactly 6 minutes to Egan Bernal, what a performance by the young man, really. And so in the mountains, the, it is Diaz Benut that is the winner of this classification. João Maida still on the second position, so a very good uh, performance by him as well, of course. And then on the points classification, we are the winners as well with 232 points against the just 191 of Pascal Ackerman. So yeah, again, another classification for us. And yeah, we just dominated this Giro. And of course the young rider classification is our as well because we are a young guy still so yeah of course we have this jersey as well and of course on the teams it's not the Kunic but it is Team Minions that is the winner of this classification and yeah guys we have a lot of points as we can see 220 points gained because it is the first victory on a Grand Tour and it is the first stage race won in a world tour as well, so yeah, a lot of points, almost level 29 now. But yeah guys, what can I say, and uh, really, more points now because of the the stats on the, the stage, and yeah, level 29 is just a skill point, but it is another level up, and yeah, what can I say, what a Giro d'Italia this was, finally we have a grand tour as we can see, these three jerseys are ours right now, of course this point classification is a bit odd, but that doesn't matter really. We got the Giro d'Italia and of course we still have La Vuelta on this uh, season, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But guys, this is it for now, I hope you like it, don't forget leave a big like and subscribe, share if you want to share this video, and yeah, stay safe, bye bye.